today's video is regarding Canon Pixima G3020 printer I'm going to show you how to do the copy print and scan so copy is very easy just download the pages or load the pages at the rear paper tray open the top scanner lid and place a page you want to copy for example this page facing downwards go to the display panel here so you will see there is a copy button here so press it once and it will take you to the copy setting you can select the number of copies here and once you select it you have to press black or color copy if you want to do black simply click on the black button and it will start the black copies you can do the color copy in the same way So you can see both pages are done and the printer is quite efficient and it's fast in the copy so it's really good printer. Next I'm going to show you the wireless printing and scanning. For that you need to make sure your printer is connected with the device as I have connected with the iPhone. Uh, you can connect it with the laptop, PC, Android phone, tablet. Once it is connected you can go to the app Canon print app and if you want to know how to download the app and how to do the setup wireless setup you can watch my other video for that here we see there are options available for the scanning printing for example to start with the scan we have to click on the scan icon open the top scanner lid place a page here facing downwards and click on the scan icon and confirm so it will start the scanning. I will show you how to scan two or more pages and then save it as a PDF file. So our one page is scanned. Now open the lid, place the second page here. So it should be like this facing downwards. In the app you have to go and click on the scan button again. So here we can see the scan is done. Click on the exit button and it will take you to the next page. Here we can see both pages are available as a scan copy. And to save it as a PDF click on this icon. You can save it as a JPEG or PDF here. Click PDF and you can save it to the files. You can select a location you want to save. You can change the name of the file and then click on the save button. Next thing is how to do the printing. Select any document in your phone or in the app and then click on this. If it's a photo you can use that as well because it can print any document you have on the device. Click on the next icon and click on the print button. But if you want to change the settings you can go and change the settings and you can change the number of copies or number of prints you want and click on the print icon and it will start the printing process. So here we can see it has done the printing. Overall I can say it's very easy to use this printer for wireless printing and scanning and once it is connected it can do it quickly so it's much faster than other printers and you can also print a lot of documents even I can say the thousands of documents because it has an ink tank as you can see ink is available there thanks for watching